What's going on everyone? Surrender name 951. I'm here to bring you a dual kind of MSIA review. Um so let's just get to it. So we got both Gundam Ashtrays, we got Blue Frame and Red Frame, and uh, this is going to be an inbox review, I'm not going to be unboxing them because they look too damn cool in their boxes, and uh, I already have these figures, sort of. So um, let's get to it. So as you can see, both are good, they're pretty good in box, um, they're actually really, really, uh, really good, like if you look at the edges, edges are clean, edge down here is a little messed up, but I mean... Overall, it came out pretty well. I mean, uh, th the card isn't completely straight, you know, that's because of shipping and, you know, the, it's, it, the card's fragile. Honestly, I don't really care too much about the card. As long as I have the figures, I'm cool with it. Um, but yeah, I was really surprised to see these guys. Um, freaking American release Gundam Astray is, like, I think it's pretty tough to find, honestly. I... I I never see it up online, and when it is up online, it's like forty bucks or more. And um, I think it's pretty. It's a pretty tough to find on, honestly, you know. But it's a very cool figure. And it looks like the the sword's kind of longer. What the hell? I don't know. I'm looking at the sword right now. It looks like if if you look at it, it looks actually kind of longer. It's weird. But yeah, um, so very cool find. If you guys have been watching my videos, the Battle Scar Zeus Gundam, the Japanese unboxing of a Gundam Master Red Frame. Um, what the hell else did I get? And these guys and some other figures to come have came from the same seller, which is Peak Peak Kai's Toy Chest. I mean, he that guy came up on so many Gundams. It's it's crazy, and uh, he's been making some money. Let me tell you, just for me alone, he's been making some money. But yeah, like as as soon as I saw this guy go up on the market, I was like, chisel! Like I need to get this because um, just Gundam Mastery is just freaking cool. And um, oh, he had two for sale. He had two blue frames and two um two red frames. Now let's play on being greedy and uh are you coming inside? Come on. Uppy. Uh I was planning on getting both of the red frames because honestly, like I said, blue frame, he looks okay, but he doesn't have that cool coolness factor because he doesn't come with, you know, his little katana straight sword or whatever it is. So I was planning on being greedy and getting two, and um I picked up these guys i think i picked them up for 20 this one for 24 and then if the if i would have been able to con like i tried contacting the seller um later that day because i was like oh i want to get the other astray i'm like can i can i uh offer you 22 he's like yeah and then he d he didn't uh, respond to me the next morning and then when i checked the figure had already sold along with the uh, another a blue astray so basically the the person <clears throat> who bought the red astray you know got a blue astray along with his little purchase so um that's why i just decided to do i decided you know just uh i'll just purchase the blue astray just to have the pair of them i was kind of i was a little disappointed but i was uh, that's all right yeah I, I was i was i was surprised to see this guy on the market and I was just hyped because I don't know. I feel like since the American release figures, like like these seed figures, American release are like super tough to find. They're not they're not very easy to come by, so they go really quick. And they have some pretty cool boxes, you know. I think this is a pretty cool box they have for it. And uh, here's some other seed figures. You know, you got Strike Gundam, which is pretty common. Um, Dual Gundam. I don't see him very much that I could recall. Uh, there's Gundam Astray, Red Flame, excuse me, Red Frame, Blue Frame, which are pretty tough to find in American release. And, of course, these figures. Um, these figures, the DX, um, Mobile Suits, or MSIAs for the Seed line, uh, some of them are more common than others, like Buster Gundam, um, you see him up there on eBay, but, uh, you know, it's just random. I think Launcher Strike's a little tougher to find. I see him up there too, but like just because of his price, I, I don't like to buy him. And then I don't know. I, I don't know what stuff he comes with. But Sword Strike, oh my, this guy is like unheard of. I I have never seen him. 
Japanese release or American release. Like, I, he doesn't even exist almost. It's crazy. The closest you're going to get to Strike Gundam is Strike Rouge with Sword Striker and, and Launcher Strike or something. <laughs> it comes, like, with some accessories. But, yeah, um... American release Sword Strike Gundam never heard. It's like never heard of. It's uh, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's that. So I, I guess I'm gonna go over the accessories in box. So of course, go over with Red Frame first. You get your cool shield, very nice. And uh, since this is a American release figure, no panel lining. And I believe the the color on the plat on the PVC is like a little different. It's more of like a. Well, I want to say like a creamy white because like the Japanese release, I think it's like a. Just a straight up, you know, bull, like, uh, like white, you know, it's like a pure white. This one's kind of like a creamy white, which actually looks pretty nice on it. Um, I, I like how it looks. Um, and so is the sheath of the sword, and you know, so there's no panel lining or anything, which is uh, it actually looks nice without the panel lining as well. Um, you get six um pans, you get two closed fists. Two open hands for the beam sabers and two trigger fingers for the the strike rifle, which is whoa, are you serious? So apparently this one doesn't come with the rifle. That's crazy. So I'm looking through the box right now and I am not seeing the rifle that that's supposed to come with this guy. Let me see here. Yeah, what the hell? So apparently, Gundam Astray American release does not come with the rifle, which is weird. Well, I mean, that makes sense if it doesn't come with the rifle, because then it comes like with this freaking cool ass sword, you know. But you know, the reason why I'm, I'm questioning this is because the Japanese release you know they just throw in the rifle in there you know it's just like hey here's a rifle too so it's a little it's it's cool that they did that making it like exclusive to the blue frame and making the katana sword exclusive to the red frame so uh, that's something to note American release does not come with a strike rifle I mean you can easily get one off your many strike Gundams you may get but that's something cool to note that it doesn't come with this a strike rifle which I think is pretty cool honestly Making them more like a melee, a, me a melee kind of fighter, which is pretty cool. So that's Red Frame, American release. Very nice. I would love to unbox it, but I'm not that evil. Um, it, it's just, it looks too cool in its box. I can't, I just can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> All right. And now we take a look at the Blue Frame. So Blue Frame, uh, very cool. I'm just, I'm just a person who likes red as a color. I think red looks pretty cool. It stands out more in a, there's certain situations where I see red and blue. It just depends on the different, I guess, hues of the color. But as you can see, <laughs> back then at KB Toys, I mean, these guys were freaking too affordable. <laughs> three for 10. That was basically like you're getting these guys for three bucks each. And damn, I wish I would have. Uh, it's like those times like man I wish it would have been at KB Toys we I had a KB Toys kind of where I live it's like in uh <clears throat> in the city of Lake Elsinore it's over here in California and uh they had a KB Toys and I was there for a while in, in the outlets and uh they eventually closed that down because I guess it wasn't making any business uh, some of their prices were okay but you would find like some cool ass figures at KB Toys I remember picking up this Sub-Zero Mortal Kombat figure and he he had like these freaking badass like uh hook blades that came with him I think like, they just had some cool ass figures there and like just awesome toys but some of the I think some of the toys were a little pricey but they always had sales I think I think this sale might have been I don't know to be honest I can't tell you but uh <clears throat> yeah that's just some background KB toys they're they're pretty cool I remember them but um yeah so let's get to the review on blue frame so blue frame same thing as the red frame you get your shield your two beam sabers which are hitting right there you get your six um different fists two close two trigger but well, two trigger and two open so for beam sabers and the strike 
weapon. I strike a laser rifle, and you can see there it is right there. Cool. Pretty cool, cool, cool. And uh, again, uh, the white seems to be less creamy. No, the whites are the same, but I think it's because of the red that it looks more like a creamy white with this, with the gun, the master and this one looks more like a, <clears throat> just a, like a darker kind of white. I don't know, but, um, it's a very nice looking figure. I actually have, um, I'll just show you. Um, I actually bought an American release body of the blue ashtray because, uh, I just want to. I bought it from Gundam's R Us a while back. I think Joshua Gundam was selling it for like ten bucks or something. And I bought it for my blue ashtray. Um, pretty cool. Wait, was it? What the hell? I'm tripping. I don't know what I did. I think <coughs> was it blue? No, no, no. Um, uh, no. I take it back. I bought a Japanese release um body for the blue ashtray. So no. So actually, I've. I've had this blue ashtray from um from uh when I was early collecting. This guy was selling like part of his like little collection he had MSIA. So that's when I got the Devil Gundam Final Form, the the brand new box, the little ball version. Um, uh, some other stuff I picked up like um uh, my Tall Geese three, my my first Blue Leo, and some other cool figures. And uh, that's how I got this Astray Red Frame. He was uh, my f my first seed Astray. And uh, yeah, so he here he is unboxed technically. You know, he looks cool. He honestly does re look really cool. And like, you can't complain about that. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, to be honest, like, I like the red, but when I look at them, I kind of like the blue a little better. Just, just, I don't know, it just kind of looks cooler. <laughs> But I don't know, they're, they're both really cool figures, just depends on uh, uh, what figure. And here's the Japanese one I just got, another one. I just did a review of unboxing him, and you can see there's a strike rifle, or whatever it's called, on him. And that came with the figure, so uh, that's why I was kind of surprised that the, the American release one did not come with its strike rifle. I'm looking, and I don't see... Like there's no, there's no, um, there's also no indication, like like there would have been like a mold in this little plastic card, to show where the the rifle would have been. So, I, I mean, I don't, he didn't come with it, you know, um, because I guess he came with his exclusive sword. So, uh, yeah, yeah, guys, that's a little dual review of um, Gun the Master. He's very cool. Um, really happy to have him now. Uh, I'll be, uh, I should be getting some figures in soon, probably by, <clears throat> if I order them today, because I got to pay the seller, if I get them today, he ships them tomorrow, that'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, probably get them by Saturday, maybe Friday, we'll see, because he likes, he likes to ship priority mail, which I don't, <laughs> I don't mind, um, but yeah, so, uh, there you go, guys. American release, brand new box. Freaking stoked to have them. Hope you guys like the video. Um, if you guys want to see more reviews, um, I have some, plenty of them on my channel. So uh, if you guys want to see future reviews, be sure to subscribe, and I'll be posting. Um, usually every day, but sometimes I I don't post every day. It just depends. And I'll be doing these guys soon. So hopefully I get those done. All right, guys. That's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on my next video.